and boaters. Let's talk about marine conservation in California. We have a network of 124 different marine protected areas, MPAs, recreational management areas, and special closures that are designated via public processes to help protect and conserve marine life, marine habitats, and cultural resources, including those of economic value. Unless it is specifically prohibited, boating, anchoring, and transiting through MPAs is allowed, even with fish on board. Just make sure your fishing gear is stowed. Let's take a look at the general rules and regulations for the three different kinds of MPAs and other marine managed areas within the network. First is a state marine reserve. This is the most common and restrictive type of MPA. Fishing is not allowed, but you may benefit from them when you fish a nearby reef or when the fish in a marine reserve reproduce and their floating larvae repopulate other areas. Next, we have state marine conservation areas. These are less restrictive and may allow some recreational or commercial fishing with certain gear. For example, the Point Sur conservation area allows commercial and recreational fishing of salmon and albacore. And the Point Doom conservation area allows spear fishing of white sea bass and barracudas. There are also some no-take state marine conservation areas, which means you cannot take out any living geological or cultural resource in the area. A third kind of MPA is a state marine park. They're found in the San Francisco Bay Area and allow some recreational take, but do not allow commercial take. Although not technically an MPA, in a state marine recreational management area, some take and legal waterfowl hunting may be allowed, but other activities and take may be prohibited. Additionally, a special closure is neither an MPA nor a recreational management area and it prohibits or restricts access in waters near seabird rookeries or resting and breeding sites for marine mammals. Special closures may prohibit boating and anchoring to protect sensitive species. So, what are the penalties for breaking MPA regulations? Breaking these laws is a misdemeanor and can lead to fines of $1,000 and even up to one year in jail for recreational violations. And if you fish commercially or operate a commercial passenger fishing boat, Penalties are harsher, and you could face fines of up to $40,000 with imprisonment. So, if you're going fishing or boating, learn where MPAs are and be sure to know their specific rules, regulations, and GPS coordinates. Remember, there are many other fishing rules and regulations, so be informed and plan your trip before leaving home. There are plenty of resources available to assist you, including a mobile-friendly mapping tool that shows your position and MPA boundaries, and you can find them all here in the following links.